Okay, so let's do a quick review on how we're going to uh, measure our books so that you can get ready for these. I'm going to be I'm gone today for a state track meet, so I want to make sure you guys can get going while the guest teacher is here today. So while you're watching this video, just um, just take kind of the rules of it. If you need to come back to it and just pause it, go work on it a little bit, come back and pause it. Um, you'll find that everything you're going to need is going to be on the table in the middle of the room, the 11 by 17 sheets of paper. The rulers will be here. You'll have to grab a pencil, have a few pencils laying on the table, um, and your book. So you'll need all of those. So the first thing you do when you're doing this, number one, is you take your book and you're gonna make, first of all, you're gonna make sure your book fits the length, this direct, the height of the book is no more than 10 and a half inches so that it doesn't go off the page off this. Cause we only have this size of paper to print on. So we need to make sure that we keep our a book this size. And if you're in the library and you're grabbing any book out of the stack, you're probably not going to have a problem with that. Now the width of the book, this direction, doesn't matter as much because you can use two different sheets to create your uh, two pages to create the rest of your flaps if they don't quite fit. So, all right, so first thing you do is you take your book and you're going to lay it down on the piece of paper and kind of get it centered. I mean, it's going to get close if you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to make it in, in design. Then you may, you may even get, may try to get someone to help you. Um, so I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to draw around the edges here. And I'm going to make a mark at where the spine starts and stops. I'm going to make another go around the edge here. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a guideline. We're going to measure it and make sure that it's all perfect when we're all finished. There's that. I'm going to mark where the spine is at and you might need some extra hands you might have somebody help give you a hand help you out make my little one here that's really all i need right there then i can take my ruler and i'm going to go ahead and just finish this all right and then my spine these marks just need to be close we're going to actually measure them and actually put a a measurement on there. And now one thing to remember too is that your book, your, when you're printing these, our printer, remember our printer only will print away from the edge about a quarter of an inch. So you got about one quarter of an inch here that you have to leave around the edges. And I would just, you know, give yourself some room here. <clears throat> just makes my, I'm gonna make my line here just real quick. It's gonna be perfect, just about a quarter of an inch. That way you know when you're all, when you're actually doing, you'll know how big your spine can be, or your flaps can be. The flaps <coughs> need to be more <coughs> than 50 millimeters. And so this will kind of help that you notice this book has a fairly decent sized flap right here as it is. So I'll probably just leave this and measure it and get it close. <coughs> all right, so the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna be working in millimeters. Okay, so the reason we're doing that is because the math is much easier <coughs> and it allows you to um, work in a different, you know, different uh, measuring system. And I like metric, uh, it makes the most sense. Our world is not, our world in the United States is not run on metric, so we're gonna need to just uh, you know, do this one assignment so you can do the math really easy and then we can do our, set up our book. And if you wanna go back to inches when you're later, that's totally fine. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start measuring this and I'm going to leave the flaps for the very end because I want to make sure I get the most important part is the back, the spine and the front cover, making sure that they are. So this is the back, spine and front cover. Okay. So you got those, those three areas. Now I'm going to start measuring this. I'm going to see, see what my measurements are here. So let's see if I can get close. So that's about right. So I'm going to call it about 135. So that's pretty close. I'm going to put it 135. So you notice that on the metric, it's one, two, three, four. That represents one centimeter. There are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So as you are making the uh, measurement, I'm going to go 135. I'm going to make this 135 millimeters. This 135, because they've got to be the same. Then I'm going to add this, and this looks like it is, let's measure both ends here, make sure I'm close, it looks like six, looks like 15, looks like six, 15, 16, I'm just gonna call it 16 millimeters, and that allows me to create a little bit of a, a fold around it. 
Now, since I have that, I can go ahead and figure out what my flaps are going to be. And it looks like this is the narrowest flap when you're kind of visually looking at it. I'm gonna, so I'm going to take this one, 70, we're going to call them 70. So it looks like 70 millimeters will fit just, just right to the edges. So I have 70 millimeters on both flaps. And then my height looks like it is a pretty standard 220. Most of these books in this size are 222 millimeters. So the height is 222 millimeters. And that is pretty standard for this size of book um, in the library. Uh, young, <clears throat> most of the books that we get in second edition prints come in this, this format here, this size. So that gives us all of our dimensions here. So now what I can do is take my calculator out and do some math here. So I got 70, actually I got 70 and 70, so I got 140 plus 135 plus 16 plus 135. So my whole book, cover to cover, back is 426 millimeters. And that may change depending on how I, uh, when I print and try to fit it, I might have to add a little bit to each of these to make the folds correct. And so those will be adjustments that I'll make after I, in all the post-production part when I'm all finished, when I'm doing the finish and fit part of the, of the book. So once you get this done, so you're gonna measure everything, get all your dimensions, then you're gonna um, go open up InDesign. And that's the next little video that I'm gonna, sh that I'm gonna show you is how to set up this page um, in InDesign so that all of your <clears throat> spaces and all your areas are defined and then you can start your design process. Okay, so that's that. If you need to come back to this, just pause and stop and start as you go. Um, it seems pretty good. And I would just say have somebody help you. That way you can have your hands uh, free while you're drawing your lines and they can, then you can kind of tag team that and make sure that that works okay. All right, so that's the end of that first part. The next one, uh, the next video that you'll queue up is the uh, dust jacket redesign uh, in design template setup. So go ahead and um, close this and then go back to the daily grind and select that video, the next video on how to set up your template in InDesign. All right.